Mozzarella. Mozzarella. Let's get drunk. Mm, what's that sound like? Here we go. I am a whore for ricotta cheese. So why'd you give me that look? Today, we are doing one of my favorite videos that I do on this channel, and I know it's one of yours too because you guys love these. We are going to put celebrity food and alcohol products to the test. Are they good? Are they actually good? Or will they taste like sh Today, we'll be trying foods from Hot Ones, Love You, Sean Evans, Kylie Jenner, Kendall Jenner, Hailey Bieber, The Holy Trinity, Guy Fieri, Gordon Ramsay, Cardi B, and my queen, Emma Chamberlain. As always, I'm gonna give you a fully honest review, and let's get into this, because I'm excited and hungry. I haven't had breakfast yet. As I said, I'm hungry, and it is uh, breakfast time, or brunch time, rather, so we're gonna try some frozen meals. Um, oh. <laughs> We are trying some from Guy Fieri's Flavortown USA. We got a couple to try from him and a couple to try from Gordon Ramsay. But what's even more fun than just trying a frozen meal, which I love a frozen meal. Give me a lean cuisine. Give me literally anything. I love a TV dinner. I think they're so easy and fun, honestly. Surprisingly, the boys have pretty much matching food. We've got a mac and cheese and a lasagna. God, hello, guy. So we're gonna put them to the test and see which we prefer. So we've got Gordon's four cheese macaroni and his lasagna with bolognese meat sauce. And then from Guy, we have cheesy lasagna with pepperoni marinara sauce and a sloppy joe mac and cheese. To me, these are like so perfect for each of them. You know, Gordon's a little bit more traditional with kind of like a little bit more of like a gourmet twist. And Guy is just like more fun. You no, know, they're a little bit less fancy schmancy and just like good old-fashioned TV dinner. Let's start with the mac and cheese appetizer. So we got these all at Walmart. They are $6.24 each. Same price. When you think about it, that's actually a pretty good price for a meal uh, if it's delicious. I've also been trying to find the Travis Kelsey frozen meats. We'll get to those soon. For Gordon Ramsay, lift the film and you just place it in there. That is what I like to see. Ooh, right off the bat, we got the noodles. We got the cheese sauce. It looks like there's some like breadcrumbs. Oh yeah, a decadent cheese blend of mozzarella, fontina, parmesan, and provolone tossed with al dente pasta topped with golden corn. Cornbread crumbs, yum. Obviously with pasta going in the microwave, you have to be careful to not overcook it. So the fact that it's al dente means that it probably won't get overcooked or hopefully. We're gonna put this in there for four and a half to five and a half minutes. Should've cleaned my microwave, sorry, she's a little dirty. Now to prep the Guy Fieri Flavor Town Sloppy Joe Mac and Cheese. This is ground beef and pork with enriched macaroni and cheese. A true fusion of American classics, mac and cheese and sloppy joe. Creamy mac and cheese topped with a nostalgia meaty sloppy joe sauce. If you say that sloppy joes aren't good, you are wrong. I'm sorry. If done right, they are delicious. Okay, this one. Lift film edge to vent, microwave three minutes, stir, microwave one more minute, and then let stand. Okay, easy. Ooh, here she is. Right off the bat, it doesn't look like there's enough sloppy joe on there to call it like a sloppy joe. Like it looks like there's a little, but we'll see. Points for it being a cavatappi pasta, because I love cavatappi. The other one I think was like a, I guess it's an elbow. It's like a thick elbow, but I love a cavatappi. Now we wait. Do, do, do. These are gonna take a while to cook. I'll be back in like 20 minutes, but let's go through these. Lasagna from Gordon. Tender pasta sheets rolled with an herb blend of ricotta, parmesan, and romano cheese topped with bolognese sauce and mozzarella. Or as Giada would say, mozzarella. Lift the film, microwave for three minutes. You know what, I like that they're like stuffed, rolled up sheets. You know what I mean? I don't know exactly know what those are called. Not like a stuffed shell, but ooh. Ooh, they look pretty good. As opposed to like a slice of lasagna, these look a little bit more carefully, individually made. But these only cook for three minutes. Remove the film, three more minutes. So six minutes in total. I'm so hungry, I'm so excited. It actually smells really good right now. Cheesy lasagna with pepperoni marinara sauce, mini lasagna noodles, and a traditional, mar it smells so good. Marinara sauce dressed up with a pepperoni twist and topped with mozzarella. Mozzarella. This one we lift, cook for four minutes, stir, and microwave another one and a half minutes. So all of them are around the same amount of time. Oh, this is fun. These noodles look crazy. They almost look like Dan Dan noodles. Like they look like squiggly thick cut noodles. I think they're just like lasagna sheets that they just like cut up. But I have to say points for creativity overall here because I like that everything's a little different than the traditional. Okay, I'm gonna microwave all these and I'll come back when they're all ready. All right, all of our meals are microwaved and ready. I mean, it took a little while, but they smell amazing. Let's get into these. The lasagnas are still hot. So I'm gonna let these cool for a minute over here. You know what, let's start with the more simple one. We're gonna start with the four cheese mac from Gordon Ramsay. Gotta give it a good mix. 
Mmm, what's that sound like? I'm gonna get a bite of everything in it. I mean, I love a very simple mac and cheese. I don't like a lot of crazy stuff in it, so I feel like I'm gonna like this. Right off the bat, it's so good. It's really cheesy. It's kind of perfect. It's a little rubbery, but like, it's a frozen meal, so I understand. I can't really taste the cornbread of it all. Here's one. Mmm. It's pretty good. It's pretty damn good. I'm gonna give this like a solid eight out of 10, eight and a half out of 10. If I got this at a steakhouse, I'd be like, not bad. I would eat that again for sure. I will say there's a good amount, but like not a ton of pasta in there. I would buy that again. Next up, Sloppy Joe Mac and Cheese from Flavortown USA. Beep, beep. Oh, I see some like bell peppers in here. The cheese is nice and stringy. It smells pretty good. And again, points for the shape of the pasta. Here we go. I don't hate this either. It just isn't giving mac and cheese. And it's not giving sloppy joe either. I don't know what it's giving. Kind of giving chili. It has like a very chili flavor with the meat and the cheese and all the bells and whistles. It's not horrible, but I wouldn't buy this one again. This one for sure wins. This one gets an eight and a half. This one gets like 6.75. If you like chili, you'll like this. Neither of these look as appetizing as the mac and cheeses do, but they're a little hard to make pretty. We'll start again with the Gordon lasagna. Rolled up sheets, you know what I mean? I don't know exactly what those are called. Manicotti, that's what it's kind of giving. Here we go, I am a whore for ricotta cheese, so. Perfectly adequate. It's exactly what you would imagine from a microwave lasagna. It's good. The flavors are good. I think the noodles get a little rubbery and I like a crispy exterior to my lasagna. It's definitely not the texture that I would want, but for a microwave meal, I'm gonna give this like a seven out of 10. Then we have the cheesy lasagna with pepperoni marinara sauce from Mr. Guy. Here's the thing, I'm a pepperoni girl. I like it. They're all really good. Kind of just feels like a pre-chewed lasagna. I like that there's pepperoni and there's like a meat sauce. I think I would pick overall Gordon over guys any day. I mean, it's good. It's a little salty. I'd give it like six out of 10. Not bad though. For the price, these are all a nice, easy microwave meal. Let's move on to the next one. We have a very exciting box here that was sent to me. So thank you so much to Chamberlain Coffee and 818. I'm still gonna be 100% honest. And we did some research and they did this beautifully iconic collab. And apparently for $72, which it is sold out, they might be restocking, we're not sure, but for $72, everybody gets this box. The box does not come with the 818. You have to get your own 818. We got a cute little 818 reposado, which I'm gonna be so honest if I'm having tequila, I am a Blanco girl, but we're gonna make it like they want us to. Chamberlain Coffee Cold Brew Singles, which I already started brewing them up. Love you, Emma. And this is a special flavor. It's a candied pecan espresso blend that is just for this collab. I'm not normally a pecan girl though, so we will see. We've got a little pull out. Oh, cow, look at this. A cute shaker, beautiful glass, as well as a little martini glass. Ooh. Very cute. I'm going to now bring in our resident cocktail maker. Come on in, cocktails with cow. A cocktail. Is that a recipe? Here we have a very early phase of the cold brew. I just wanted to show you guys. We have here, it's like a tea bag and you just put it into water and you let it steep for 12 to 24 hours. Cal, you may now pour the martini. All right. Ah. Wow. Ooh. Ooh. That looks right. gorge. And now we garnish. Oh, <laughs> it kind of slid around. <laughs> <laughs> bloop, 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 bloop. Oh wait, what did you even put in this? I put a table and coffee and uh, some 818. And then I used the Mr. Black coffee liqueur. Well, he loves with... that. Mr. Black, if you watch this, feel free to send him a bottle. <laughs> He loves this stuff. And then just some simple syrup and coffee beans for garnish. Very simple. Should we take a sip at the same time, lady at the At the, the same time? Style? You're gonna have to just tilt it to you. Tilt to me and then tilt to you. Okay. That's yummy. Oh my god, it's so strong. It's yummy. actually really good, but really strong. Woo! I'm usually a girl that likes Baileys in my espresso martinis because I like them to taste like cake and dessert, but that's actually one of the better espresso martinis that I've had. I've never had an espresso martini with tequila in it, and it was that's really good. Really? Yeah, really. Oh, it's actually really delicious. Really good. That's bomb. Yeah. I give it like an eight out of 10. That's, that's good. That's yeah. actually way better than I was expecting. I really liked it. Let's get drunk. 
Moving on to our next item, we have Whip Shots, which we've actually tried before in a past episode of this series. This is an alcoholic whipped cream made by Cardi B. In the past, I've tried standard flavors. I think we did like the mocha, the caramel, the vanilla. Today, we have some fun flavors, and I have been apparently also put on the PR list. And after this video, I might be taken off. We have here pumpkin spice. This one was purchased at BevMo. Peppermint, also purchased at BevMo. And then the PR that we received today, Queen. These are vodka infused, by the way. We have the lime here, bucket hat. Love to see that. Thank you, Cardi. Very cute. Little shot glasses, little shooters. And then over here, another new flavor, which is, it was in collaboration with the Museum of Ice Cream. Oh my God, so cute. A little ice cream scooper. We have strawberry flavor. Since we already have this drink made, we figured why not put a little bit on top and try the flavors. My stomach will hurt if I drink uh, an espresso martini at 1 p.m. right now. So we're gonna call back in our professional expert. Are you ready, Cal? Come professional back. Professional expert. Salute. Professional oh. alcoholic. Wait, babe, what if I just put a little bit on each corner? Before? Yeah, you can do that. I love it. Okay, I'm gonna try. I'll, I'll do a little bit on my finger. Let's do it. Let's make beautiful artwork. It says slap it upside down until you feel your whip shots drop. Uh huh. Then we shake it up and down until you hear your whip shots go fluid. Sounds fluid. Oh, I think it did go from oh, a solid to it. a fluid. Yeah. Let's do lime in this quadrant. Oh my god, it's green. Wait, so cute, Cal. Oh, <laughs> it's orange. It's orange. <laughs> that it is. It's orange. <laughs> Strawberry. It's pink. Wait, this is so fun. What a good idea. The look of this martini is crazy. All right, Cal. I'm gonna try. I feel like the lime with this is gonna taste nasty. Cheers. Cheers. That tastes like vodka. That's insane. I don't like artificial lime, so points for it tasting like it should, points off for not being my favorite. I don't know if an espresso martini is the drink to Also, what else do you put it on? Like a Mai Tai? I feel like, I feel like it is the drink to put it on. I think you just put it like that. No. <laughs> she had a recipe for an espresso martini with it on her Yeah, recipe. that's right. Oh, so it's a bit. Yeah. Yeah. All right, lime, four out of 10. Okay, next one, babe. Pumpkin. Okay. Oh my God, it smells like a candle. Better than the lime. I kind of like that. Yeah, better yeah. than the lime. Thanksgiving, Halloween party, espresso martinis, little pumpkin spice whipped cream on top. Not bad. I like that. I rate that one seven out of 10. Yeah, seven. Okay, peppermint. I love peppermint. Cheers. Whoa. Mm hmm. Oh, yeah. That on an espresso martini at Christmas time. <laughs> so good. No, that's really good. That's the best by far. This is yeah. like a nine out of 10. That's nine good. out of 10. That's really good. That's so good. I don't even taste the vodka in that one either. I feel like there are some flavors that make more sense because it is creamy. Creamy lime doesn't sound as good as creamy peppermint. The other two, I definitely tasted like the vodka. The peppermint is really good. Nice. Strawberry, last one. That one is strong. I like it. What does it taste like? I don't think I like that one. I've tasted that before. It tastes exactly like something I've tried. I mean, that one just tastes like vodka. I like it. I would give it like a seven out of 10. I think that was a five. It's a lot of vodka. On that note, thank you for coming, Cal. Have a wonderful day. Bye. Yeah. Cheers. Next we have Hot Ones Chicken. This is a great collab. You can get these at your local grocery store. We have First Week Feast presents Hot Ones, the classic hot sauce, boneless, spicy garlic chicken bites. There are five different flavors of this, and I appreciate the instructions. You have the regular oven, you have the air fryer, and you have the microwave. We all know I'm gonna do the air fryer. Apparently I cook them, and then, yes, yes. I love a frozen chicken wing. I know how to do this. We've got a resealable bag in the back. Ooh, oh my God, wait, they look pretty good. In at 370 for five minutes, flip them, and then five more minutes. So these are 12.63, you get enough to cover. Honestly, I wish there was more. Like it's enough for one air fryer. But let's see if they're good. Already the coating, it looks pretty good to me. It looks better than most of the frozen chicken that I've tried. Let's go. Our chicken is ready. It kind of has like a tempura kind of looking batter. Like it looks really good. And then our sauce packet, I just thawed in some hot water. Also to know we are using the mild pack. We're just gonna take our sauce, pour it over. Oh wow, it's got like a sweet chili kind of smell and coating almost. Like there's like little peppers in there and it smells kind of sweet. Oh my God, my mouth is watering. All right, on that note, let's give her a taste test. Ooh. 
hot. You know, for being on the mild side, it's still really hot. I can't imagine what the spiciest one would be. Mm-hmm. The package came with a hole in it, so I don't know how much water got in here. And I would say they got really soggy with the sauce immediately. I don't know if it came watery. I don't know if water got in there. Flavor-wise, it's good. I think I'd personally throw them back in the air fryer to get them crispy again. Pretty damn spicy. I would give it a solid like eight out of 10. I would totally buy these again. I think these make like a great little party appetizer. I see, but just enough. Ooh, two thumbs up. Real chicken on the inside. I'm impressed. My mouth is on fire. I'm a little baby back when it comes to spice. I need to cool my mouth down. So we are now going to try the new Hailey Bieber Air Wand Smoothie Ice Cream. Yes, you heard me right. They turned the iconic Hailey Bieber smoothie, which I love, into ice cream. This retails for $8.99, which is expensive for a pint of ice cream, but considering you could get two of these for the price of one smoothie, Pretty good. So this is in collaboration with Cosmic Bliss, literally called the Hailey Bieber Strawberry Glaze Ice Cream. It's only sold at Erewhon. Oh, she signed it. Love you, Hailey. It says, name Strawberry Glaze Base Dairy Free Coconut Flavor Notes Creamy Vanilla with a Sweet Strawberry Swirl. Ooh, wow, it looks like the smoothie. Oh, the texture is perfect. I just pulled it out of the freezer and it's so soft. I'm gonna get the vanilla or the coconut, whatever it is, and the strawberry all in one bite. I've had enough smoothies to know the flavor, so let's see. It's just spot on. Wow. Oh my God, that's actually so good. I'm really excited to have this. Wow. I love a coconut ice cream. If you don't like coconut, you won't like this. It's a very coconutty flavor. We love that it's vegan also. Wow, the coconut soft serve is like the perfect consistency. This is so good. This is like a 10 out of 10. I love that it's less expensive than the smoothie. I love that I can work on this for the next like couple weeks or so. The only thing, I wish there was more of the glaze in there because that's the best part. I will be repurchasing this. I hope that it's permanent. I love it. 10 out of 10. Last but not least, hi. Kylie Jenner's Sprinter Vodka Soda. This pack was $19.99 and you get eight cans in there. So that is actually pretty steep compared to, you know, Truly, White Claw, all the other ones that are, I think, delicious. This is premium vodka, real fruit juice, no added sugar, 100 calories and gluten free. So let's see if they actually taste good. We have our four cans here. They are chill. We have grapefruit, peach, lime, and black cherry. Let's get into these, shall we? 4.5% alcohol by vodka. Volume. Packaging is pretty cute, I have to say. Are they bad? No. Are they outstanding? No. They taste exactly like any other seltzer I've had in my life. I really don't have much to say. The flavors are fine. It just tastes exactly like every other seltzer. And I do know there's real vodka in them versus malt liquor, which I do know makes a difference. But in taste, they all taste exactly the same. It's good. If I saw one at a party, I would totally drink it. But did it blow my socks off? No. I'm gonna rate them like a six out of 10. All right, guys, that wraps up today's episode of Trying Celebrity Food brands comment down below if you guys want to see me try any other ones follow cookie with me on instagram and mr may on tiktok check out my blog channel and i'll see you guys in the next one